I'm really small and underage before I go. So I meet some guy in Kano. We are going together. So before I reach um, Libya, we use three months. I reach Libya in 20, July 1st, 2018. So I come back in May. I don't even stay long there before the police come and catch us. I went with one brother, my sister took me there, that I was going to live there, live with that brother, Brother Wale. So, I just want to start work. Then the police come and catch us in our house, in around 12. What work were you going to do? I, I just want, I don't even know, don't even tell me to work. Where's your sister now? She's there, but I don't even know about her again, because I don't even talk to her. Why? No, because um, the day I come back, she don't even care about me. When the police catch her, she don't even do anything to see me. Or she's talking about the money. She don't even talk about my life. So if I know that he's doing like this for me, I will not go. Adebola Zainov was barely 18 years old when her elder sister, who lives in Libya, requested that she joins her in the North African country. For Zainab, it was a unique opportunity to help make life better for their widowed mother, so she agreed to travel to Libya by road. Her expectations were, however, shattered when she was arrested and taken to the prison just when she was about starting to slave in Libya. In the middle of all of this, Zainab's sister had taken to her heels and abandoned her kid sister, who was now in police custody. Welcome to the latest episode of our Migration Story series on Legit TV. My name is Damla Okola. You also trafficked to Libya? Yes. What happened? Not too much because I don't even stay long in Libya. So. I went, I went to go and meet my sister there because my sister is there. I don't finish my secondary school before I go. I go in 2017 and I come back in 2018. So in March 3rd, the police come and crash us. All of we are staying house. The police come and carry everybody to um, um, police station and do everything for us to help us. We are always three girls in there and four men. The separate girls, separate and separate boys. So I don't even see the man again because the man, um, the man that I'm living to. So my sister is not there with me because then my sister I went to. So I don't even stand now. What was the sister doing in Libya? My sister is working with Arabo. What kind of work? As a... But why did you live here to go and meet your sister? No, I just go before. Because it's only my mommy is taking of me. So, you no, know, I don't have father again. So, that is why I do that. I can help my mom because I still have brother, two brother. So, my first... Um, my son of my mommy is dead. So that is why we are too. So that is why I go there. So when I come back, I like go back to my work before. Because I'm working, I'm learning work before I go. So I just go. When I come back in May, so I like go, go and work, um, finish my work. So I finish my work in this, in last year. Your sister that went there and that works uh, with Arabo. Did she tell you how she got there, the journey to Libya? Did she tell you before you left Nigeria? No, she don't even tell me anything. She goes, tell my mom that she will give me some money and food. So she don't even tell me that I will pass desert. So when you were going through the desert, what was on your mind? <sighs> Nothing, because I don't even, I'm really small. I'm underage before I go. So I meet some guy in Kano. We are going together. So I'm the only one that's small every day. So before I reach 
in Libya, we use three months. I reach Libya in twenty in June first. Then I first. Twenty nineteen. Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. So I come back in May. I don't even stay long there before the police come and catch us. What was your experience like in Libya? What happened when you were in Libya? Who were you with when you got to Libya? Who were you with immediately you got to Libya? I went with my brother. My sister took me there. That I was going to live there because she's not living at home. She's living in Sarabu. So I live with that brother, Brother Wale. So I just want to start work. Then the police come and crush us in our house in around 12. What work were you going to do? Um, the, I, I, just, I don't even know. Don't even tell me the work, the board. I think it's house rep, house rep. So, because the thing that my sister is doing. You met your sister when you got to Libya? Yes. Because the one who put you to live with Badawale. Yes. What does Badawale do? Badawale is doing his burger. Burger. Mm. So, but Ali was supposed to fix you up to start another work. Yes. So your sister wanted you to come to Libya to work the way she's working. Yes. Where's your sister now? She's there. She she will soon come back, but I don't even know about her again because I don't even talk to her. Why? No, because if the day I come back, she don't even care about me. When the police catch her, she don't even do anything to see me or any officer. She don't, she don't, they talk that, oh, the money I spent, how the money is going like that, that. She's talking about the money, she don't even talk about my life. So, I always think that this time is no good though. So, if I know that he's doing like this for me, I will not go because I don't even know. Because we are not staying together before she go to Libya. I'm staying with my grandma. But is she your blood sister, your same mother and same father? Yes. Then she abandoned you in Libya? No, she didn't even abandon me. She always come in weekend to see me. But after the police busted the place, yeah, you did she not... She wants to come on that day. But I don't even know something happened to her. So don't come. So that is the police that called that. How did you not come back to Nigeria? I come back with feel. Free, free plane. So I, I use one month in in the cell before I come back. I see some people there. Some people now tell me that I should not go back again. That the Libya is no good. That I don't even stay long. So that I should come back home. So I don't even. And I let my mother, maybe I should come back. So, and I come back to Libya, come back to Nigeria. When I come back to Nigeria, the day I get to the airport today, the IOM gave us something. She, she's the one that took me to my mommy's place. She gave me 10,000. Who is the person? IOM. She's the one that took me to Shagam. So now then my mom does, she not, she not allow me to go that place again. So that is it. And I am just giving me money, some money that I should restart the business because I just finished my my well, my work. So I don't, I want to open shop now. So I need some help to that to help me to undo my business. Okay. What of your education? Did you go to school? No, I go to school, but I don't finish my secondary school. So I wish to further more. I wish to find out more so that I can know how to speak, how to do everything. What class did you start? SS2. SS2. What department were you in? Commercial. So what was your ambition then? Why did you go to commercial? Um, my ambition that I want to know about accounts. Accounts. Accounting. So. Do you still have the ambition? Yes. Zainab's mother, who stated that she regrets ever allowing her younger daughter to travel by road, noted that her situation should serve as a lesson to other parents who may be having such thoughts of allowing their children to travel to Libya. She explained that she did not know her daughter was traveling by road. 
else she would have stopped her from traveling to Libya. Your daughter, when she was going to Libya, were you aware that she was going to Libya? Hmm. It's a long story. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Odo <laughs> Ati ti ja ti mu ko ni ni mi la pela won mo wewe ti olugbe yen so le fun mi mo wa gba sile ni but mistake ti mo se ni wi pe mi o bere n pa pe ya we ya ma lo se mbazi o we ya ma lo se nkokon but oni ko ma bo oni ki ma wo ri gbugbo yen na ma yan oju nkokon kini kan mo accept ngba to jo mo bibi ni mi ni mo wo pe ko le pa ko si nkan to fe se fan buru e but in tori pe mo je eyan olorun ti mo je christian lati gba tomo yen ti lo mi o duru ojo kan ojo kan ki ma nwa nu sera nsa ma nfa dura won mo yen lowo ngba tomo yen de kanu ah mo ni se kanu le tin lo wo plain ah oni ko ti je ohun ah to ni olorun wa sha mo no mo sha npe number mo yen npe mi oni awon wo moto mo ni moto ke se moto wo ibi te lo ni awon olorun mama je ko mo mi so nu lati be yen mo sha rin rin ajo yen titi titi ti o di stage kan ma pe ko ni lo to ba ya ma okan mi o sha bale titi 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 ni igba to mo yen lo ni november o don ni january 1st Bon, bon, je suis là, 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 je oni ko le sole ngba tun se po sole tele lati be omo yen sa ri pe ise to hun lo se yen o da pagbara hun o fe ibi ton fe gbe hun lo yen hun ni mi e o sa de mu lo sibi kan o da po ba won sise nbe ba won taja ngba tun ya so ba won sise le kon de pe mi lojo kan pe pe nkan bayi bayi ti sele o pe ko da won pa won etoku mu ni ha Long bound in my shishi. Mook be no bag, no bag, no law. Mook be to uncle law. Who shall pay along jacking, wapping, boo 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 later. To the mark be me, she look your number, me look but to just in Nigeria. Bow Lucian, who lands in one Nigeria by you. Only could that want him be on board, Lil. Ah, Kilo Shelley, who didn't come be me. Ni ojo na igba to de mo wa be pe kilo sele awon yen ti en blame mi ni ojo odun na pe kilo de ti mu je ko mo kekere ilo ti mi o je ko duro mo ni ki kun se jo mi mo ni se mu le si egbon to bi ninu se mu le so o le so ipo n fe se ran lo fa bu n kin de ni ko ma se mo ni to je ki nje ko lo ni yen Muni ba to mo yen de lo nsalaye orisirisi evu ta on ba pade lo na pe e mo ye ni toku to ba ma sun to ba ma ji elomi ma ti ku kile to mo pe be 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 titi titi pe ngba ta won tun bo ibi ti won ku gbogbo won si 
pe gbogbo won lo ma je kibi won elomi fe le mu ito idie ni igba to ngbe ba ngbe won bi bo ti wa nse country nigeria nikan ni pe gbogbo country ni o wa ni be yin ba won ni o de ready lati ran mo nigeria koko lowo bibi ton le sise but egbon to wa ni be iyen ti ri opportunity ngba to nde ti kuro nbe o ti ri opportunity kuro ni country yen pe lawon kan ti won ti lo se country bo mi bo nko ti mo kon fe fa yo ni pe ke yan du de asiko e gbugbu nti yan ba ma da ni le aye o ti yi olorun ba ke yan ma kon ju ola ko ma de se afara we pe omo taye ti nri se je ki ni ko mo mi na lo sibe ti yan o ba mo idi oro yen ko ma de ki omo mesele nitori pe ko ma ba si parun fun mo yen ai mo yi omo imi ta won gan so pe won mo nigba ti won de be to je pe won le won ri awon eyan won gan won le so fun pe omo won o ti lo si lo mo kon fe le yi se apere fun gbogbo eyan wi pe ibi ti ori ba ma de ese o ni sa lai de be ori re ti eyan ba ma se laye ko ni kuro ni se da gbogbo eda ati alabi amo to n gbo mi leni ki won fi temi ati tomo mi kon fi sari ko gbon bo n gba tomo yen de mo ri pe progress n wo oro e e n gba to de lu lo ko se ko se ti mo ra machine sugbon ibi to ku si ni pe ki a se ki se freedom fun ki sisho bu fun ki ra o ja sibe ki bukata e ko le fu ye lokun ni a je irun lowo ti mo be gbogbo nigeria ati omo na ka ro jire ti won ma fi irun mi lowo atawon aburu ekekere ituku ko lohun ko ran lowo god bless nigeria